First order of business, jump on the beds. This beautiful, beautiful sunrise. This is perfect. Why didn't we think of this before? Good climb, buddy. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey friends, welcome to Love Always, Adventure Often. Uh, it's a uh, couple days after Christmas and it's about 4.30 in the morning right now. And we decided last night that we're going to take a quick adventure uh, down to Zion's National Park and a couple of the surrounding areas. And we're gonna just take a couple days down there until New Year's Eve. And so um, we're getting all packed. There's bags. And uh, we're gonna drive down today. So it's a couple hour drive for us, about four hour drive and uh, we'll get down to the area tonight and then we'll explore tomorrow uh, and Saturday and then come home, back home on Sunday, which is New Year's Eve. So I'm stoked. I've been wanting to get down here, uh, get down there all year. Um, so that's fun. A couple other things to update you on. I know I mentioned uh, a couple videos ago that we were thinking about doing a school bus or a schoolie uh, as, they are, as they're termed. Uh, this is a whole world that we didn't even know existed. Then we found it and we were like, bam, we gotta, I think we gotta do this. We're just trying to debate whether or not we have enough time to actually finish a schoolie. I've been reading blogs and watching vlogs and blah, blah, blah. And some of these people are working full time on their buses and it's still taking them like six months. And I just don't have that kind of time. But the price tag is really attractive. The customizability is very attractive. There's so many pros to it that I, the, the only con is the time. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how I can juggle my work schedule, family schedule, adventure schedule, and still finish a bus. And I think it'll be a challenge. Um, and we're not quite ready to pull the trigger. We've found a couple buses, um, one in particular that's already been gutted and it's it's a great price and it's local so we don't have to travel anywhere to grab it um but man it's a it's a real commitment so this weekend is also a lot about that also a lot about katie and i finding some time and some clarity while we're in the mountains while we're in zion's just around what vehicle we're gonna buy and if we're ready to take on the bus and yada 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 so this should be fun more updates to come what are you up to i'm playing the piano playing the piano addison has found a new love for the piano she's doing awesome we found this app that teaches you piano it's a really cool app isn't it What's it called? Simply Piano? Yeah, Simply Piano. This app's cool. It does like popular songs. There's a lot of rest measures. Wow. Nice, Addison. Hey, Kenya. You didn't get your bag in yet. It's right here in the walkway. Oh, Milo, you don't have your bag in yet either. But at least you have your travel pillow on. Where'd you get that? From Santa. Are you excited to wear it on our drive? Yes. Oh, it looks so comfy, bro. All right, we're all ready to go on an adventure. Beep, beep. Oh, the first, first item always is a DVD has to go in the DVD player. Hey, how many times have you guys watched Despicable Me 3 since Christmas? Four times in three days. Mai, where are we going? Um, we're going to St. George. St. George and Zion's, right? Yeah. So it's about a four hour drive for us to get to St. George area, which is where the hotel is that we're staying in. And then tomorrow it'll be about a 40 minute drive into Zion. 
that's what we're doing tomorrow. The next day we're gonna hit up a couple of our favorite rock climbing areas and do some hiking around the hotel. There's just tons of stuff to explore, rocks and cracks and canyons and all that kind of stuff. That's the roof. Come on, try hard. You got it. <laughs> I didn't do it that time. Wow. Well, we made it to the hotel. And if you don't know us yet, this is the first thing that has to happen. First order of business, jump on the beds. Second order of business. So the second thing we do when we get to a hotel, get in the pool. There's really nothing quite like leaving home in like 14 degree weather and four hours later being in 65 degree weather with palm trees and playing at the pool. It's amazing. Hey, good morning everybody. We're on our way to Zions National Park. It's 27 degrees outside. Is it cold? It's New Year's weekend and we heard that um, it gets really crowded really fast. So if you're not there by about 10 o'clock, all the parking spots fill up. So we're trying to hurry, but we're waiting for mom. And uh, it's about an hour drive from where we are. So we're trying to make it there to get a parking spot. We'll see how this goes. Look at all this traffic to get into Zions. We just want to get in there and see these beautiful rocks. That's all. So does everybody else. All right, so we got here too late. Canyon's closed. So it says it's not going to be open again for till the afternoon, supposedly. There's a couple of hiking trails that leave from the bottom, from the visitor center. But we'll see. We'll find something. So they told us at the gate that uh, if we go to the visitor center, they might be able to tell us if the canyon opens back up. So we're gonna go to the visitor center, check out a few things. All right, so we found a trail that we can go on. Here from the visitor center, it's not any of the famous Zion trails, but about three miles, takes us up to the base of the wall. I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Probably never would have done this trail otherwise. Right. So. That's cool. Addison's gonna try to carry Milo? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, this is perfect. Why didn't we think of this before? All right, we'll see you guys later. Have a good day in the mountains. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Ah. Stick to the trail, Dad. Stick to the trail. Looks nice. Let's see it skip. <laughs> Make sure you throw it fast and have some spin on it. Yeah, Whoa! Two skips! Watchman Trail. What, bud? Where's that line right there? That means no doggies allowed. No bikes allowed. But have fun on the Watchman Trail. But you can, like, ride horses? I don't know if you can ride horses or not. Yeah, it doesn't say no horses, huh? sick last night. Maybe in the pool too long. Maybe swallowed too much pool water. Ate too much pizza in the hotel. Maybe jumped on the bed too long. Maybe ate too much candy for dinner. Maybe had a bug crawl up his nose at night. No. Maybe the toilet seat was too cold when he sat on it this morning. No. Kissed too many girls at the daycare. No. <laughs> Finish 
finished our hike, getting back to the hotel now. And I was just talking to Katie. It's so weird, because I grew up coming to these national parks as a teenager, as a kid. It wasn't anything like this, from what I remember. There wasn't hordes of people everywhere, and you know, canyon closures because of too much population, that kind of stuff. And I was talking to Katie, and she, <laughs> I think she thinks I'm a little weird, but I'm actually really quite worried about our national parks and our wilderness areas. I mean, they're just, I don't know what the answer is. I don't think there is an answer. They're just getting too populated. They're getting trashed. They're, uh, you know, just trails everywhere. I don't think there's anything we can do to protect from the amount of damage that's happening to them. But who am I to say this? Cause right, I, I wanna be in them as well. Everybody wants to be in them. So I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but it does worry me. I mean, these beautiful canyons and hills and mountains just getting trashed. But we had a great time. <laughs> that was that was really heavy, <laughs> really heavy thing to talk about, but we had a great time. So we're heading back to the hotel now. Hey buddy. We got back to the hotel from our hike and what happened? Got rosy cheeks, sucking on a popsicle with a washcloth on his head. We made him this nice comfy bed in between our two beds. You like your bed? It's nice, huh? It's cozy. Just out here for a sunrise photo session. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. This beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Oh, I love it with the arch behind me. Mmm, amazing. So I just finished up a, I call them sun, sunrise sessions, where I just go out and find a little bit of peace take some pictures of the sunrise. I just love to share them on our social media and, and mostly it's a time for me to just take a deep breath, do a little bit of meditation. I try to get out there before the sun or the before the light's good, where the sun's or the light's just barely starting to show and uh, the sun hasn't crested yet, obviously. It's an opportunity to just meditate and get clear and and uh, have some time, some quiet time alone. This morning, got some great photos. I share those over on my Instagram account, uh, on our Instagram account, our family's Instagram account, with love always underscore adventure often. If you don't have something like this in your life, where you just have some time to just meditate, have some time to do something that you love, that brings you a sense of awe and wonder, man, when that light hits and it's beautiful and I'm taking photos, it's just like, gives me a whole new perspective and sense of just how amazing this place is. So anyway, check those out. Talk to you soon. Just a little light popcorn snack before we go rock climbing. Always. some outdoor climbing today down here get on some walls throw the kids on some walls even if they don't want to climbing in a spot called Green Valley Gap down here in st. George it's a good spot to have kids climb because there's easier routes we're gonna hike up this little canyon here come on bud he's still upset from getting in trouble Milo's mad because he got in trouble for throwing rocks one of his most favorite activities but he was throwing them towards kids on motorcycles, so he's pouting. Come on, bud. Possibly the best entry level route at the Green Valley Gap. No. Yeah. No. Despite its Jump. temporific no. start. Three. Two. Cool Cats is One. a straight shooting line Jump. that starts hard and eases off towards the end. We're still trying to find the route that we want to get on. One 
one thing about rock climbing, especially if you're not familiar with the area, is it's oftentimes very difficult to find the route that you're looking for and the rating that you're looking for. Milo, we found it. Here's the route that we're gonna do. We'll get all set up. Are you okay? <laughs> Look how high up we are. What's up, buddy? I just Here's made. the Polaroid Katie just made. <laughs> Not quite developed yet. <laughs> I just made, created this memory. Oh. Right Addison got a Polaroid, Polaroid camera for Christmas and now we're having fun with it. Milo's turn. Putting his shoes on with his egg and bacon socks. Nice work, buddy. Yeah. Good climb, buddy. Woo. That was a doozy. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just on the wall. I made it. Nice job, Kenya. Nice send, Kenya. Pull, Addison. Come on. Nice work, Addison. I hope a piece of kale comes. Peace and care. Nice seat, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Careful. We're done. Everybody climbed. Was that fun, girls? Uh -huh. Yeah. That was a now good little climb. Go this probably wraps up this adventure. Up, up what do we say? 